Hey everybody, it's the doll boy, and today I'm gonna be experimenting with my LOL OMG Lady Diva doll. I got this doll secondhand with her original hairstyle that even had the gel in it. But to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the curly bangs that OMG sometimes gives their dolls. So I wanted to try out a couple different ways to deal with these bangs or remove them completely. My first idea to work with these bangs is something I did with my busy BB doll, which is take down all the hair and curl it using the smallest straws you can find. This will give you a curl pattern that's very similar to the bangs, which will blend those bangs into the hairstyle so well. I really love this look for Busy BB, and I do show you how to curl your doll's hair with these small straws in my live action aerial video. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave an iCard in the screen right now. Honestly, for this Lady Diva doll, I did not have the patience for this, because I really wanted to keep her hair straight. Which is why I took my straightener out. The second option for these bangs is to simply straighten out the curl. For this, I take my spray bottle and simply spray down the bangs with water. An important note about straightening the hair like this is that it will be permanent, so you will not get the texture back easily. So if you're not sure about removing the doll's bangs, I would suggest trying out some temporary options first to see how you like those on your doll, like simply clipping back the bangs. I was pretty sure I wanted to go through with these steps, so I started brushing out the bangs as well as I could and carefully straighten out the section of hair. This stretched out the curl quite a bit, but I'm going over the section again to stretch it even more. As you can see, after my first round of straightening, this is what I got. Which is definitely a looser curl pattern, but not at all as straight as I wanted. So I just kept going until I was happy with the result. As you can see, the bangs did turn a little frizzy at the ends, but you can easily curl them into those bumped bangs, cut them into real bangs, or tie them to the side to keep them down. To curl these bangs into those bumped bangs, you can use a straw and simply wrap the hair going under. After dipping that in boiling water, you've got a more permanent curl in the hair. For a really neat look, I would let this dry in the straw, which I did not do, but you can definitely get the idea of how this would turn out. If you do decide to take out the straw when the hair is still wet, you can also brush out the bangs to give it more of a side swoop or curtain bang look. As I said, you can also trim this into actual bangs, but I'm personally not the biggest fan of how this looks. As you can see, this really shows you that there were still some waves at the roots, which makes these bangs look quite funny. I really wanted to completely get rid of these bangs though, which is why I cut the hair in that area as short as possible. Then I want to take off the head by pushing the head down on the body and then pulling it off in one go. Now I'm taking my tweezers 
to remove the leftover hair in that bang area from the inside of the head. To leave this really small bald spot in the front of her hair. Before fixing this bald spot, I took out that high ponytail and rinsed out the gel from the hair. I also brushed out all of the hair to make sure we have a very clean base to work on. After getting all that product out of the hair, I want to fill up that little bald spot we created. And since she did not have a rooted part in her hair, I wanted to tackle that as well and give her a simple side part. For these steps, I did want to have a perfect color and hair type match. And since these dolls originally have a lot of hair rooted on their heads, I felt comfortable enough to simply take some of her own hair for this. I looked for a spot in the back to make sure it wouldn't show too much. And then I simply cut out one row of hair. To keep this process very neat and make sure I don't lose any of the cut off hair, I'm simply laying that out in small strands so I can use them to reroute the sections I wanted to fill. After dipping the head in boiling water to soften the plastic, I'm simply going in with my reroute tool and adding in the hair in those bald spots. Then I also root some hair in a straight line where I want the side part to go. And after rooting all of that, I drag the point of my comb through that part, splitting it all in half to create a really neat side part. I'm honestly really happy with the way she's looking already, but because I folded each strand in half to root the hair, I did get some shorter strands in the front as well as in the parting. So to blend that, I'm gonna simply layer the hair. But first, I want to add some glue to the inside of the head to keep those bangs and side part in place. And after letting that dry, you can pop the head back on the body. Then we have this really cool result that I will be cutting. I will be cutting this at an angle to connect the shortest hair to the longest length. And after doing that all around, this is the result. I really hope you liked this quick video and partial reroute. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also leave a comment down below which option you liked most for Lady Diva. And to see more pictures of my doll restyles, follow me on Instagram as well, at the doll boy. See you next time!